Welcome back to the channel. Hi. <laughs> we have just picked up our load here at Highline Warren, just outside Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And it looks like we have approximately 43,000 pounds of car care products in drums. There's 88 55 gallon drums of antifreeze. Oh. At any rate, this load is going back to Bombdars yep. in Sioux City. And I think we're supposed to have it there like sometime tomorrow. And that is where we're going to drop this problem trailer. <laughs> and then I think we're going to head up to the yard and get our regular grease job maintenance done on the rig. Really nothing else to report just yet. I have got short timers so bad I can almost taste it. We are ready for vacation. Yeah, I think we are five weeks. <laughs> and they're going to be the five longest weeks ever. But there's a lot to be done in the meantime, including taking this load to Sioux City. So we will see you there. Ah. instructed to leave the trailer here with a tag on it reminding them that this trailer needs maintenance so hopefully nobody else will have any more issues with the air leaks now I did mention something about needing to go to the yard and have a full grease job but as per usual that plan gonna, has changed we're gonna go to <laughs> Cornhusker International here in Sioux City get a grease job done there and then go to, then the, go yard. to the yard because I got to pick up my drugs <laughs> yeah, because yeah. everybody needs good drugs. So, we are headed over to Cornhusker. It is currently what time? 10 o'clock. We'll see how long this takes. See you guys in a little bit.
truck yesterday. We didn't have anything else to do, so we buzzed on back up to the yard because we knew there was going to be some fun folks waiting there for us. What we didn't know was there was going to be so many of them. What, like nine, nine people? Nine people, yeah. Yeah, so we had quite the party in the lounge last night. You'll have to pardon him because he's doing like next year's vacation planning. <laughs> So one of the reasons why we were able to stay last night at the yard is because we got our load while we were there pretty much right after we walked in the door. Guess where we're going? It's new. We've never been there before. We're going to Canada, eh? <laughs> this, this brings us into new and uncharted territory. So the first thing we had to do, obviously, was get our passports, get the dog up to date. We've got all of that stuff on file with the company. So... We only had to do that once. But we went and picked up this, this nifty little folder that inside of it, it has on this side over here, this is instructions for drivers who have never been to Canada before. And thanks, there's a lot of useful information there. This side over here, I'm not even sure what this is. Oh, it's a uh, e-manifest portal. So this has some vital paperwork for us to get in and out of the country of Canada. But we are hauling a Jolita load, and in case you don't remember, Jolita makes animal-based gelatin. We also have this, and in here is um, a certificate of analysis that basically gives you an ingredient breakdown on what is in this stuff. And a commercial invoice, an export health certificate, I'm not sure who that's for, but yeah, um, and some other some other stuff that we're going to need whenever we do make the border crossing. And then I think, well, this is a copy of the bill of lading, and I'm pretty sure there's another one in that envelope as well. So barcodes and abbreviations and paperwork galore so far, so far. I'm really excited. We are unfortunately, or fortunately, however you want to look at it, we're crossing in Detroit. We don't have a choice. Yeah, we don't, we don't have a choice. We are going to Windsor, Ontario, and we will actually cross the border, go through all the customs and immigration and all that kind of stuff, and then drive into town where we will deliver the load, and I believe it's a live unload. So it shouldn't take us very long once we get there. But we have looked on Google Maps and we've seen that across the street, like literally across the street from where we're delivering is a Harley dealership. So, Willie, you know you're getting some Canadian coins. <laughs> Thoughts? Comments? See you there, eh? <laughs> so now we just have to get there and we'll see you guys at the border. There's a moderate concern about traffic going across the bridge. You don't want to be stuck out there. And we honestly don't know what we're doing. So we want to make sure there's plenty of time before our 9 a.m. appointment for 
any sort of thing that might happen. But that doesn't mean that I don't need coffee. It's right there. And it's calling my name. I just hope I don't get out in the middle of the bridge, get stuck, and then need to pee. Um, we're going to try to record everything that we can. Uh, this being the international border with America. You know, we Americans film everything. So, <laughs> let's go find out what this international border crossing stuff is all about. a lot more twisty confusing and stuff before we got onto the bridge than I thought it was going to be. You? Yeah. Um, we have been told or at least warned that since this is our first trip here it's pretty likely that we're going to get inspected so here we go. <gasps> oh yay. <laughs> yeah you got to put it in drive. What all do you need? This is my first time crossing. <laughs> They were right, we're getting inspected. <laughs> your first time. Yeah, why is it your first time? <laughs> why, you know, yeah. why now? Yeah. Uh, what are you hauling? Yeah, all yeah. The, the, the basic questions. Um, we had originally left Scooter in the truck, so four immigration officers came out to the truck with me, and I took Scooter back in, and um, the evidence suggests that they looked through pretty much they, everything. Yeah, they opened every door. They did not take any of my cigars though. No. They didn't take anything. Yeah. I mean, it, you know, it's crazy because we're sitting in there in the immigration office and I'm like, what are they going to find? What are they going to find? We don't have, there's no drugs, yeah, there's no have, alcohol. There's no there's, guns, alcohol, drugs, yeah. there's none of that stuff in here, right. obviously. But I'm always but, like, 
what, what are they going to find that they consider contraband? <laughs> Basically, if Canada can grow it, you can't bring it. All in all, a pretty smooth process. Oh, and yeah, it was absolutely smooth. I mean, there was no... Yeah, no, no hiccups at no all. No hiccups at all. It took this long because it was our first time crossing. Right. Now that we're in their system, I imagine that We may get time, inspected every time. We yeah, may we never could get, get inspected, inspected again. Every time. Yeah. Canada rocks. So, now we just have to wait for this place of business to open so we can get unloaded and then hightail it back across the international border and go pick up our next load. So... I'm sure we will see you guys, I don't know, somewhere back in America. So. <laughs>
except for this week. <laughs> we do not have a load yet for next week, so I guess you'll just have to tune back in next week and see what the heck we get up to, because I don't know. Um, hope you enjoyed going to Canada with us, where gas looks like it's cheaper. But it ain't. And Queen Elizabeth is still on some of the money. <laughs> You know what we usually say at this point of the video? Scare like it's kabooigaba. Like, share, subscribe. In the meantime, thanks for watching. See you back.